They do dry jan because it's like they want to start the year with no alcohol. I don't know why. I don't know what it is actually about. Let me actually Google dry January because I've never quite understood why people do it. Hold on, wait. Dry January meaning. Okay. So why do people do dry jan? It's common for people to lose their alcohol craving and realize drinking need not occupy such an ample space in their lives. So basically it's for people who maybe have like a drink dependency by the looks of things. Oh, it's so it's a public health campaign urging people to abstain from alcohol for the month of January. Okay. So I'm assuming it's for people who have like a drink dependency or maybe it's to highlight alcoholism or something like that. Obviously, the, the reasoning that you're doing it is completely different. Yeah, that's why I didn't know what it was called. I just knew that you I was... Just, because we, we were literally talking to uh, to Dan and he's doing dry jam as well, but I just, bitch, I'm drinking my Bacardi. The fuck? <laughs> I hear it, I hear it. You know what, to be fair though, you know this month, I mm -hmm. actually haven't been out yet. It's, that's something else that I find weird. Mm -hmm. Even yesterday, Joyce, when I said I was meant to go out, I'm not even joking. Mm -hmm. I, something just in I don't spirit. know. Again today, I've come here. I told you I'm meant to go out afterwards, and I'm already doing that. Well, we'll see. Like I don't know. I'm even in the mood to go home. Do you know what? I feel that you know. I said to myself last year that the only reason for me to go out is if it's something to do with the in. If it's an industry party, like it's good for networking or it's work related. I I'm sorry. I can't be bothered to be doing. Uh, dancing in the moonlight, everybody see it. Like, I can't be bothered. Like, I really, really feel like I did partying too early. What, so now, no, I mean, generally, oh, like, enough, obviously, yeah, yeah. I've been partying for a long time. So it feels like now it's like, the the cost of getting an outfit ready, because I don't, I'm, I'm the type of girl that I don't wear the same outfit twice. I will buy a new outfit, then, I will now have to pay for trans. Yours is even worse because Demi takes taxi everywhere. Brother. Bruv, Demi can spend, no, Demi, tell the people how much you spend on taxi a week. On, I don't, I don't check. 100%, Demi can easily spend in a week 400 pound on taxi. I'm not fucking with you. Okay, but can we just say something? No. <laughs> <laughs> we nah, can't. do you know what? I don't think it's my fault. I think it's the environment's fault. It's this country's fault. It's cold outside. Oh, it's cold. You no, know, it really is cold outside. And plus, if I had a car, uh -huh. I feel like me taking cab, um, taxis everywhere is cheaper than TFL and it's cheaper than owning a car. For you, <laughs> for you. Sorry, me. I'm very comfortable taking transport. It's not I, I had that I have a problem with transport. Because I don't want anyone to see me on public transport where they say, oh, I thought you were going to take No. <laughs> I still jump on. But my thing is, it's cold. You see, if I'm going to take public transport, it will have to be in the day. As in, if I'm going to the gym. Sun is blazing. Yeah. No, but even when you go to the gym, you take cab, Demi. Why? Be honest. No, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, no, I actually take train. I actually take you train. You take the train. I take train. How many stops it's is only two, it? It's stops. only two it's stops. stops. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's literally next to the... Five. Oh, oh, what I'll do is I'll take a cab to the train station and then I'll get the train. Can you see? But the thing is, your house to the train station is not that far. My guy. Okay, to be honest, it is a little bit far. Thank you. It's not, it's not like round the corner. It's not round the corner. But I can't do... I cannot do that... Uh, I don't know. Like, I'm the type of... People always have money to spend on things for example i don't have some money to spend on cab but i have money to spend on restaurants mm -hmm. i could spend 100 pound, 150 pound easily on food on food yeah Facts. but cab if they tell me to spend 10 pound i will cry you know i would rather cook food okay let me this wasn't the case all the time Keep but it. nowadays i i would rather spend money on cab and cook food at home last last there's in me at home i would rather take the most <laughs> I will, nah, man. I will take the bus. It's cold. It's cold. Tonight's bridge to go and eat and take the bus and take the bus back. To me, that it, it don't really. <laughs> it, 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 it doesn't really help the aesthetic. And <laughs> they're not serious. Just and for me, last night, if I'm starving, McDonald's is there. McDonald's no, is no. there. You work it out. You work it off in the morning. Me. Maybe you. Me and Big Mac. One love. We did get out. Do you know what? Yeah, the only thing I ever really like in McDonald's is the breakfast. And I'm very pissed off. I'm very pissed off that they haven't brought back the um, breakfast wrap. 
You know, pre oh, about that. pre COVID, the breakfast wrap was on the menu, but then during COVID, they did some fucking stupid reduced menu. So now the breakfast wrap is not there, and I'm very very traumatized oh, at I that fact. Done breakfast in a minute. Listen, I can wake up at six in the am for those hash brown. Um, nah, I don't like oh. hash brown. You don't like hash brown? No, I, I like um if I was gonna get a uh, McDonald's breakfast, it's a double double McMuffin, double sausage and egg McMuffin. Have you had the new one with the bat bread? Which one? What's it called? It's quite new. It's um the the bagel. It's not the bagel. I don't think they do they do bagels in the UK. I don't think they, they do. do. They do. Um, McDonald's. They have a bagel. Um, egg and sausage bagel. Are you so sure? So I would usually get the double egg, the double sausage egg McMuffin, and <laughs> also <laughs> and the sausage egg bagel. Both of them. And I will eat it together. And no, and the uh, two hash browns. Never. Nah, I love hash browns. I, do not why like don't you thing. like no, the hash browns in McDonald's are elite? I do not like that thing. I, do you know what I usually do? Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. So you know how it finishes at ten thirty. Yeah. So back when I used to be on it, yeah, um, I would go in at like ten fifteen, uh-huh. order, and then tell them while you're making the sausage and egg McMuffin and the bagel, they should now in the time that it's flipping over also bring chips. <laughs> bring chips and Fanta, no ice. So you can, but between the transition, <laughs> between the transition, so I can also have chips because I don't want the hash browns. What's that? <laughs> no, thank you. I'm, you know, I'm finished with you. That one is a strategy. Ah, you have to think. What, remember, I, I used to work there. I don't think they can't say no to you either. Are you saying no to me? So I went to McDonald's um, with Demi. I can't remember what we were doing. I think we just finished filming something, and. Um, Demi has a very specific yep. menu. The guy was so fuming. I don't care. Because he had to write it all down on a piece of 100%. paper. 100%. They have tell to them, ask me. Tell them your, your right. menu. So my usual... What was I getting on that day? So it, I think... It, it, was a, it was like a double... It was a double cheeseburger with... Oh, because... <laughs> guys, do you not know? You can literally... Guys, you can literally make your own burger in McDonald's. Let me tell you. How <laughs> I'm putting <laughs> you on. <laughs> <laughs> Let me pull you on. You can make your own burger. You will get um, a double cheeseburger because the same burger they use in the double cheeseburger is the same one they use in mm. the Big Mac. This is mm-hmm. ex-employee yeah, and Yes, so tips. I was there for two and a half years. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you will get the double cheeseburger. You will now ask them for shredded lettuce. I'm very specific on that. I don't want that bavaca lettuce or whatever it's called. <laughs> I want shredded lettuce. You will now tell them to add extra cheese. On top of that, they should also add Big Mac sauce. Some of them might even try and be stingy about it. But last, last, you just tell them to put uh, mayo and also put um, barbecue sauce. <laughs> then the rest, to be fair, <laughs> I will now get a wrap. You know, I'll tell them to remove the um, um, tomato, remove the cucumber, add uh, mayo, add cheese into the wrap. <laughs> Yeah. You can imagine, yeah. We're in McDonald's, <laughs> we're in King's Cross McDonald's, where what? the queue is fuck off. <laughs> and this is Demi. What? In the queue. Can you please remove the tomatoes? I want shredded lettuce, not the ice. And I believe mm-hmm. the guy even brought back, he he brought it, and I think he brought the wrong lettuce. The wrong thing. So I sent he said, it back. She sent it. Yes. Sorry, this is not iceberg. This is not shredded. I want shredded. shredded le- yeah. This is iceberg. Send 100%. it back. 100%. The guy also, was human. If you eat some, if this is for um, those that you are hungry but you're on a budget, you can eat half of it, yeah? And then... <laughs> you can eat half of it, yeah? And then you tell them, I don't know, maybe you saw a hair in your food or it, it, it's cold or it wasn't to your liking. They have to make a fresh one. Yeah? What if you eat one tad? <laughs> can you still send it back? You can still send it back. But I want to send this... Do you know... <laughs> Do you know what? I've never sent food back before, you know? No. I, should I tell you why? Because uh, they give a lot of attitude. And the thing is, you're quick to collect my money. Why is my food not matching the, the, the standard of money? And I don't care if it's £5. That's £5 that I worked for. But do you know what? Yeah, it's not really their fault. Like me, I try to be respectful because some of them don't even want to be there. True. Some of them, did you want to be at McDonald's I'm not going to lie. That's why it's my time now. You know when I was at work? A customer threw a milkshake on my face. No way. I swear, the kitchen was taking bare long. Because, you know... Oh, talk I don't want to get annoyed. I don't want to get annoyed. Talk about it. Talk about it. So, basically, I used to work in a predominantly white McDonald's. Snitch. Yeah. What is it? Which way? Where is it? Hornchurch! <laughs> Hornchurch McDonald's! Yeah. McDonald's! Yeah, Hornchurch McDonald's! We were doing yes. <laughs> and That's where I used to work, yeah? So... The the remember my my boss Sakib was Asian. <laughs> I'm, I 
shouting everybody. Sakim. <laughs> he was Asian, yeah, but all of the people that he would employ was always white people because he said that they were always more efficient. Wow. Yeah, Sakim was right. He's like, he's one of those, he's not quite self-aware and his own is he's been there for so long that they're not going to fire him so any, his mouth just used, used to run anyhow Sakibu. imagine so the white people that he would then employ you know white people they love to smoke so every two two seconds they're smoking cigarette break. Break, cigarette cigarette break. break cigarette break cigarette break so while they're doing cigarette break it's us black slaves <laughs> <laughs> That would be there, lining up, working with the workforce. And the thing is, especially, we used to have peak times. Mm-hmm. And you know, in McDonald's, in an hour, I swear, no word of a lie, God is my witness, you can serve up to 500 to 600 customers. Wow. Back to back, back to back. So imagine now when Kitchen Now is doing cigarette, cigarette break. Every 10 minutes. Every 10 minutes. So now you, that's even working in the front. I, you know, I learned how to do, I did lobby. So lobby is when you wipe tables, sweep the floor, wash the toilets, mm-hmm. literally. I did lobby, I did front, and I also did kitchen. Sometimes I have to run to the kitchen. I swear, I have to run to the kitchen and go and cook the burger real quick because they're taking too long. Wow. So imagine I'm now there and then this guy has ordered something. And you know the ones where I even felt bad for him because it's true, he'd been waiting for t- for time. And I was like to him, listen, the food's coming, da 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 And then when the food now finally arrived, yeah, they gave him a Big Mac instead of a um, a quarter pounder. I will never forget. Instead of <laughs> <laughs> so a quarter pan now. He's like, you lot are taking a fucking piss. He's now picked up his strawberry milkshake. Pat in my face. It, the thing, you know when it just went down so slowly. So what's slowly, it? Was it, what's so it bastard? Slowly. Was it fat? Listen, it was just one of these white geezers. Oh my God. And I stood there. And you know, you're just drenched in my uniform. And this was even back then when McDonald's uniform used to be green. That's when so I the used colour to, contrast of the strawberry milkshake. Of the milkshake, strawberry and the... the gr- it oh, was too rude. Man. I stood there like this. You know the ones where you can't even get angry? I just thought to myself, hmm, I can't lose this job. I can't lose this job. I just you know, waddled. I waddled from the front to the back. Sakib saw me. Instead of Sakib to come and tell the man, if you go to the man, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, we're going to make you free order, free order. Is that what he said? That's what he said. Then while I'm now there and I'm now upset, he goes, okay, I'll give you 20 minutes, then you come back. Not you can go home for the inconvenience. 20 minutes and you can go back. So if you see me stressing any McDonald's worker, I deserve it. You know what? First of all, Sakib, you're a bastard. You're a bastard. Second of all, I really, really hate when people are rude to staff. Bro. I think it's... I'm not rude to staff, but I just demand what I want. I, b- I believe there should be a standard in which everybody should work at if you have if you have a job. Mm-hmm. But one thing I cannot stand is people who are... You see if that guy threw chocolate milkshake or whatever fucking flavour <laughs> milkshake on my body, bruv. you know I can scr- You know I will throw it. You know the chip fat? I will throw it in your face, bruv. Are you dumb? Just. You know that's you know for you to do that you are an ugly human being. And then the uh, man, were you the one that was cooking the food? Were you not on lobby? <laughs> that's when everybody wants to come. Oh, so sorry, so sorry. But they were still doing. It's not even like they keep even even banned cigarette break, oh. Because you know these white it's like they need it. It's like their body functions with cigarettes. Does Sakib smoke? Sakib doesn't smoke. So when they're telling him about the importance of smoking, it's like he's trying to understand. What are you understanding here? This is why I could. I'm sorry, no. you know, anyone that does retail, yeah, go on for you, like seriously, go big up you, you, big up you. Because I remember when I worked in Tesco, I told I told this story about me working in Tesco. That was one of the worst jobs I ever done in my life. And you know what? Yeah, my manager was so done. The manager was begging to fire me because every time if a customer was being rude, I'd be rude back. Yeah, now you can't do that. I'm so yeah. So I would yeah yeah. Because me, I didn't, I don't, f- I didn't, I don't fear nobody. Nah. Fire my blood clot. Nah. I don't want to be here anyway. I, I needed the money. You needed, the, b- bitch. I needed the money. But one thing I, w- I will not tolerate is people being unnecessarily rude. Like if they try to do that shit to me, I will be rude back. I'm not care. And the thing is, in my mind, I was eight. I was what, eighteen years old. I was in college. No, no, no. I was seventeen. I was in college. I was like, my life is so much ahead. There's so much happening in my life. You think this is, you think all you stupid people. And it's always the people, I'm so sorry. It's always the people who look like universal credit collectors. Yay, my sorry, chest. Sorry, I have to say My it. chest. Back no. in Tesco, it's nev- it was never the people who were actually like, oh yeah. It was always the people that look like them too. We are all struggling together. So you must treat, right now as I am here in Tesco, you must treat me like the king that I am. Yeah, when you're, <laughs> when in real life, your, 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 your poverty penny. Fam, these the same people that, cause I remember, this is what I used to say, in Tesco, yeah, 
they that like it's like they knew when the reduced food there was a certain time seven in the pim seven in the pim the reduced food used to come out and what used to happen was that it got to the point where the guys just used to you have bakery you have a uh, salad and fresh food and then you will have is it dairy mm. or something all oh, the dairy food so what happened is that they will now put it behind the double doors everybody will pack their stuff one guy, I, would, I don't know why I remember this guy. He used to he used to work in... Uh, why is my phone pinging like this? Hold on. Sorry, I forgot to put my phone on. Do not disturb. He used to, he used to work in the vegetable area. Mm. He will now push the... It was in trolleys. He would just push it like this. Push it and the food will come. If you see how all of them started running for, running for them. Grabbing the... The, yeah. the bread is expiring tomorrow. You're grabbing the bread. The the salad is expiring today. You're grabbing... Like, it was like Hunger Games. I but said, really and truly, no one Tesco say things are expiring. You know, it still has another It's true. It still has another couple like, of days to marinate. You know, like, like, I was like this. And those are the same people that will be rude to you. That will be like, excuse me. Nah. <laughs> I can't stand one people. Like, there's there's been occasions where... I've been in situations where people are rude to people working and I have to step in. I can't, I can't, I can't stand it. I was in an Uber one time and um, this was, I don't think they do it anymore, but remember they used to do the shared riding thing. What's shared riding? So basically, look at me, my, look at bougie on a budget. So basically, you could share a ride with somebody else. Yes, I remember, I remember. Yeah, I don't yeah, think they yeah. do that anymore. No, they stopped it because of COVID. How can you be sharing a ride with people you don't know? You don't know. So yeah, that's what they did. So I remember I was sitting at the front with the Uber driver and basically um, two girls came in the back. So obviously his sat-nav, his sat-nav was telling him to come and drop me off first. But to be honest, their house was on the way. But because he's not from the area, he's just following the sat nav. So he's now dropping me off. I was in uni, dropping me off to uni. And the girls are like, excuse me, my house is just there. Like, you might as well just stop and drop me off here. And then the guy's like, oh, sorry, you know, I'm just following the sat nav. The girl was shouting at him. The girl's now shouting at him. I don't understand why you're so dumb. That I, I had, I had to, and it was, it was boiling me in my spirit to be quiet. I said, I can't be quiet. Are you fucking dumb? You don't have no fucking. Knowledge. I turned, I turned around and I said, he's following the sat nav. That is where it's leading him to. Who are you? Who are you? Who's talking to you? I said he can't slap you up, but I will slap you up. Believe that believe that i don't like i think it's the nastiest trait to have as a human being um, we are walking and i think because obviously you've experienced um retail i've experienced retail i've experienced customer service you know what is that bitch i'm just trying to get it i'm just trying to have a job and leave bro, like per i think i think it's the it's i can understand when customers are rude if you're feeling a certain energy or a certain rudeness from the worker themselves uh-huh. you know you have some workers who they genuinely they don't want to be there they actually, they actually don't want to be there. Facts. So you're already coming with the same energy. I'm talking when I'm even there doing sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. <laughs> Do you know forgive, what? Nah, forgive us, nah, sir. Nah, nah, nah. No, no. Forgive me for my co- my co-worker's sins. And you you're imagine. here giving me energy. I'm sorry. Again, I don't know what I would have done. Nah. You know what? You have a lot of patience because if someone threw a strawberry milkshake at me, I would have... Do you know... That's, Bro. I think, one of the traits here yeah, that I like but don't like about myself is I think I'm too nice. I actually feel like, in general, mm. I feel like I just have dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> dickhead on my forehead. Because I feel like when people see me, they feel like, oh, this is somebody I can take the piss with. I swear. So that's why when, when it's now a situation where I'm like, no, hold on. Hold on. I'm paying for this. You need to, why are you so pressed if I'm paying for it? Why are you pressed about my order? It's true, it's true. Why are you pressed? And you know what's so mad, dear? Back to the McDonald's thing. He was so annoyed at yours that when I ordered next and I said, can I have a chili? <laughs> I said, can I have a chili chicken wrap? Um, and can I have cheese? It's like, oh, oh yeah, yeah. I said, ah, Uncle Sam, I just asked for cheese so inside the wrap, oh. I didn't know. <laughs> because I don't think you was going to get cheese before. You were like, oh, you can get cheese. I said, like, yeah. <laughs> I said, you can put cheese. I said, like, he's, he's like, oh, are you two going to come and... I said, sir, I just want a cheese. <laughs> But it's true, it goes both but ways. But they actually act like that. You know, the only, the only reason why I know about you can rearrange your orders is because that's what people used to do to me. I feel like because it was a predominantly white area, everybody knew what they wanted. People had gluten-free, people had vegetarian, they had this, they had that. So they used to come and rearrange. <laughs> and I'll be there to the point where even all this crying that they're doing, you know, even till now, I can still work that screen. <laughs> you can do the computer. I can still do the, do, 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 do. It doesn't take that long. I said, yeah, right there, ask me, press it. 
Yeah, I go there. So you know, till today, yeah. <laughs> you know the matching. You, you know my pastor to my. Yeah, let me not. <laughs> The machine. Let me not. I will not. That's too much information for someone hacks me. But my employee number <laughs> is your password. <laughs> I'm gonna change it now. My employee number is my password. And to today, I will go to McDonald's. Yeah, sometimes I say, oh, yeah, I work here, but I don't have my employee card. Do you know how much employee discount is? I'm fifty percent in it, babe. You know I can get a whole meal, including drink, from McDonald's for two pound twenty. You know one auntie, yeah, one of my aunties at McDonald's, she um, gave me this card and yeah. it was, f- you have free, you had, you got a free meal. A free meal? Yeah. You had, a, it was like a card, it was like a card that you scan, you put it on a keychain and you could get a free meal. Wow. I lost it, I lost the keys in it, so I can't show you, but I was like, wow, this discounts. Fam, the discount, I'm telling you, it, it was, it was more than half. Ah. You will enjoy I used to eat McDonald's left, right, and center. That's why I was even putting on weight. I, you know, even when I'd finish from McDonald's, I'll come home with like forty chicken nuggets, five big feeding mats, the family, feeding everybody. <laughs> yeah, because them time my mom would be in Nigeria, so I'll come home with food for my sisters. My sister, ah, oh, can you bring me back some nuggets? Can you bring me back this burger? Can you bring? I will even come home with five strawberry milkshakes. <laughs> no menu, menu. The whole thing. Can I just say a side note? I hate periods. I just want to say it. As, you're, as I'm sitting down talking to you, yeah, my belly is so squeezing. Mm-hmm. I want to cry. Mm-hmm. I know that feeling. I feel like I have a love, I have a love hate with periods because it's like, oh my God, yes, another month not pregnant. Uh, uh, uh. But then it's like, damn, everything is flowing and killing. Like, if it was just the flowing, I'd be fine. But it's the cramps, it's the breast hurting. My, what's your symptoms when you have when Bruv. you're on your time of the month? Yours is love hate, mine is just hate, straight hate. But at least you're not pregnant though. I'm not having sex. Neither am I. <laughs> <laughs> Neither am I. Girl, like, don't you ever don't you ever feel like there's some days where I feel like, what if God made me the next Mary Magdalene? Don't you ever have that fear when you're like, when you're two days late? I think, God, uh, God, have you chosen me? Have you chosen me? Nah, man. Nah, man. Nah. I just, oh, I just hate my nah, big so man much, thing. man. Am I the only one that has that fear sometimes? You. That God has selected me to be. Now you're going to be married. <laughs> Why you, you marry? Why you marry? Fam, that one, it doesn't even run. I be, Mary was at least a virgin. <laughs> me too, I'm a virgin in the Lord. In the Lord. Fam, nah, my even talk, even the let's move on. Even talking about periods, even put me in a bad mood, fam. My periods, I hate them so much. I have like the worst periods, like the worst. I've heard a lot of things about bettering them. Like, obviously, I know there's a lot of women that don't like to take medication. Mm. Sorry, personally, I'm popping the pills. Yeah. If I don't take a, if I don't take paracetamol on the first day of my period, done. F- it's peak. I'm. Ro- I will. I'm rolling on the floor. I've been. I've been put taken to hospital because of your period. Because of my period. Because there was no paracetamol. I remember. I will never forget. I was at New Covenant Church. It was a hot summer's day. My period kicked in, and I was like, "Fam!" I was asking my mom, "Mom, have you got paracetamol?" No. I started vomiting. They took me to hospital. They, they gave me um, what's that thing? The air and gas. Like I was about to have a child. Screaming. I swear to God, they gave me gas and air inside the back of the ambulance and that's me con- not me with the with the with the gas and then com- confessing my sins to my mommy screaming <laughs> mom i'm the one that took the guinness inside the inside the fridge you were looking for it was me that took it ah! i was singing a song i didn't know that gas and air made you like really loop de loop de loop and guess what all they gave me was paracetamol and mixed drink and i was fine since resurrected i said hello hi everybody i'm back i'm screaming my mom was so fuming i said well who told you not to pack the paracetamol then but no, mine is so, so bad. Nah, Do you I, have any um, things that you use to to better them? Me, uh, babe, honestly, it's just to take Panador. <laughs> Pana. <laughs> Pana. Para. Pana. Panador. Paracetamol. <laughs> All of, uh, Cocodine. Which one that one again? Cocodamol. That one. Cocodamol. <laughs> Everything All of that's, them. If he's got Coco and Popo inside the name, I'm that's taking it. That's the one that I'm taking. Para. Ati. 
everything, everything, all of above. I will swallow, swallow, swallow. I'm sure I've even overdosed at some point. I don't care. And back then, <laughs> back then, I'll even convince myself that if I smoke some weed, it will suppress the pain. So I will now, I'm crying. <laughs> There was one time I fasted. Remember, I did that long. I did that long winded fast. Yes. And I was on my period. I think it was day five. I didn't take any medication because my belly was empty, and I was like, "How am I gonna get through this? Because my periods are fucked." This is the new way. I got a hot water bottle. Yeah. I just entered inside my vagina. Everything cooled down. I swear that <laughs> right inside, right like literally, it was literally sitting. Babe, the way that sounds is like you. That I inserted it. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I inseminated myself with the yeah. Jesus, with the, no, whole, no, 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 the, with the whole water. No, literally, I literally put it right in between my legs. Like, I obviously I wrapped it with something. I was wearing pants, guys, before you lots of having thoughts. <laughs> and I put it inside, and it literally it was so soothing. But when it started getting cold, the contractions or whatever the fuck it was started coming back again. So I just will warm it. I'll just have a hot water ready. Yeah. Then I'll put it, and that actually worked really well. So I got through that period with no um no medication no drugs and no food don't you remember that even when we was filming with maggie guys <laughs> i need to say guys i remember i'm not about to snitch on your ass like listen i was in so much pain i had the hot water bottle i had this big i was wearing a black jumper and i literally had to lift up the jumper and have it resting on my stomach i was on the floor i was in so so much pain i don't even know what, what it was and then because we was filming, I now had to keep on a straight face and everything. Demi was the... Demi's eye was rolling back. I was, was, like, I was like, bitch, go home. The fuck? Yeah, but... No, because you know what it is? I'd done my makeup, I'd done my hair, and I'd come out there to film. I didn't want to be that one person. And yeah. then it's like... And you know some people, they don't understand your pain, so it almost seems like, yeah, but we're all girls, though. Like, oh, I'm sure it's not that deep. No, it was it's deep. deep. It's deep, it's deep. It was hurting. And I just said to myself, I just didn't want to spoil it for everyone else. So let me just... Look at how we have to suffer for our, our great, great, great grandmama Eve sin. Do you Eve, know what I mean? Who told you you're dirty, bitch? Who told you to go and eat the apple? Anyways, why did you do that? At the end of the day, it was a man that made Eve do what she did. Do you this, know what? The snake was a man. Does he have? If he had a gender, it would be a man. It'd I be agree. a man. Because I don't know if he. I don't. I. I believe the snake is gender neutral. I don't think that they say. No, because the snake was, the devil. Is the devil a man though? The devil is definitely a man. I be his name was Gabriel. He only was once an angel. Then God set him down. First of all, it definitely was not Gabriel that is called Satan. I swear it was Angel Gabriel. It, no. Was it not? What's the name of Satan before he Lucifer. Was... Yes, Lucifer the angel. Ah, sorry guys, not Gabriel. Gabriel Lucifer. is Jesus' friend. Yay, it's true because I have a friend called Gabriel, so he's not really a devil, sorry. sorry. Lucifer sorry, is sorry, the sorry. angel and he became Satan. And he became Satan, yes, yeah, him. See, he was a man. <laughs> Where's the bottom line is that he's a man he's a ma basically we're blaming this on men is basically what we're saying do you know Adam and Eve were Nigerian <laughs> <laughs> I'm interested do you know that? how do you know Would you, listen everybody is Nigerian everyone <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna say something sensible what the fuck <laughs> yeah because Adam and Eve originated from Nigeria how don't you know that's our god's name is Uluwa yeah <laughs> <laughs> It's a fact. Everyone's Nigerian. And then obviously like we will spread out, you know what I mean? And then, you know, when like the white people started migrating, they got lighter and lighter because as you get to England it's cold. But yeah. Where I wanna know where you're there's worry, no just, there's no theology just, behind nah, this. It's facts. It's facts. We don't need to fight about it. Just, I feel just, like you've said this before and I had the same shock on my face. I have said this before. Like, I, and I'll say it today, I'll die. I'm even gonna tell my grandkids that, yeah, Adam and Eve were Nigerian. Yeah. <laughs> What I other what other country would they be from other than Nigeria? Maybe Ethiopian. I would have guessed Ethiopia. Ethiopia. You think Adam and Eve are from Ethiopia? I don't, they're definitely not Nigerian. They're definitely they're not definite Nigerian. Nigerian. Cause if Adam. They, if, if, <laughs> if if Adam was Nigerian, uh -huh. I believe he would have probably fought to come back into the into the garden. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't kick me out. <laughs> I'm not going any fucking. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> you see, I will stay. You see that you go, I will go. What I want to, what I want to die first before I leave this place. You think I'm going to go to that dirty desert? You will meet me there. <laughs> <laughs>
Ah, no. That's you the fuck. Because if you think, you know why they were Nigerian? I'll tell you why. This is my final Go point on. to really prove it. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Because they were Nigerian because Eve begged her husband. Think about it. Adam still stayed married to her, even though he got she got him kicked out of paradise. Because there was no one else there. Who else was she he gonna marry? Himself. Listen. <laughs> I mean, these days people are marrying themselves, but I don't think I, it was a thing. Do you think you could ever marry yourself? No. I, f- I would love to. Could you to. marry yourself? I would love to. I've, I'm, I feel like I'm getting there. I'm like on my self love journey. I know, yeah. You don't overtake it and start marrying yourself and stuff. I would like to marry I would like to marry someone else. What I sort don't. of person do you want to marry? A man. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, I even remember what you said in the last one. Hey, a fat one. Yes, I like my guys. Can I just say my DMs have been so overfilled with such voluptuous men, and I want to say shout out to every single one of them because they look so good and juicy, and I want to. I can't wait to squeeze your boobies. <laughs> Each to their own. Each to their own. Right, guys. I wanna. I, I don't think I really need to introduce you to be honest. It's true. Oh my gosh, we had this whole conversation. No introduction. Wow. No, we don't do introductions anymore. You know. Well, we do it midway. Yeah. Cinema. But guys, you already know Miss Dems in a motherfucking bill. Bill it, bill it, bill it, bill it, build it. My God. How are you though? How have you been? How is your mental? How is your energy? How is your state? Do you know what? I'm good. I'm mm-hmm. good. I'm on a very like spiritual journey. Per. And I feel like I'm growing. Do you want to talk about the fast? Yes, guys. Okay. Me and Joyce. Yeah. In fact, Joyce is the one who even got me into it. Joyce is the one who gets me to a lot of things, actually. So, <laughs> so, um, we. I started attending Joyce's church last year, mm-hmm. and then this year our pastor suggested because it was a suggestion. Our very, very our pastor that is a PhD doctor Period. in theology. I thought I would put that. Yes, yes, yeah. Let them know. Let them know. He knows what he's talking about. So he suggested that we do um, a 10 day fast. Obviously it wasn't forced or anything. And I've actually never ever fasted, like ever. And this year I done a 10 day fasting and prayer and I would break my fast every day after seven. Mm -hmm. There was one day I I slipped up and I I ate at five, but I still done the fast. Mm -hmm. I prayed three times a day and even kind of in between to be fair, but mm-hmm. it was mainly the three times a day. And it was just, I feel really good to the point where me that, guys, I can't lie yeah, the amount of, me and my dealer, you know, my, did I tell you, my dealer called me yesterday. Is he missing you? He, you know, he legit called me. He was like, oh, Demi, how are you? Like, I ain't heard from you in a, in a while, you know, like, uh. you still alive. Well, yeah, the, well, yeah, the one that's always dashing him your money. Bruv, you see, I have no word of a lie. I could spend, if we're gonna, like a month, I could spend about like, maybe like, four to five bills on weed wow hmm. a month this month i have not picked up no one zoots oh, i'm so proud of you hey, thank you no Debbie used to smoke bear like like it was a lot and do you know what it is i feel like i needed it well i felt like i needed it like even to do hair to do anything to function to, to yeah. just to function i felt like i needed weed and it would also just distract me from things that would just upset me anything that's going on yeah i became very dependent on it so like even oh if, my god dependency are yeah. you wow yeah I, I became very dependent to the point where it got to a point where i couldn't eat unless i've smoked because the I'll, flavors yeah no I'll, I'll literally say i have no appetite i had to smoke in order to have the munchies to eat literally wow and now i'm I'm eating. So we're not going to smoke any again, again, are we? That's the plan. Mm-hmm. But I know for the, this whole month of January, I'm You've not even trying to... You've given it to God. Do you know what? Can I just say... I, I know I always say... I think every time you come on here, I always say how proud I am of you. But it's so nice every time you come, you have a new testimony. You have a new thing to share with us. Like, this is what's been going on. But yeah, guys, we did a 10-day fast. Obviously, I really like January just to kind of reset and just to refocus my mind on the things that's important god being a very very main important thing to me um and also but also my mental myself um what i what i'm planning on doing in the year so it's been amazing to share this with demi of course and just to see i'm quite i'm so proud of you like honestly yes guys so that's thank that's you, sis. Me. thank you sis no it's been it's been nice it's been nice it's been a good month so far 100 percent. i feel like i'm seeing the I feel like I'm already seeing the benefits of the fast. Is this too early to say? No. I no. Say it. It, I've been seeing the benefits. You should see my emails, bitch. We got shit popping. No, no, no word of a lie. Like, 
this month alone, yeah, God is good. God is good. God Let is me not talk good. too much, Bumba Raska yeah, Cloud. Let me talk. <laughs> not me saying God is good at the same Bumba Raska. <laughs> <laughs> no, I guess I like that though. But I got something for you though. Go on. Before Simply Earth's essential oils, I had no idea what essential oils were about. On top of that, they were so expensive and I wasn't sure if I was buying the real deal or just a knockoff. Simply Earth's essential oils recipe box helped me gain confidence and clarity to make my home toxin free and they can help you too. The recipe box has four pure organic essential oils and six recipes created by certified aromatherapists. This monthly subscription box is super affordable and their essential oils are a hundred percent pure yes a hundred percent pure each subscription is only 39.99 yes honey save your coins have fun making your home toxin free with simply earth's essential oil recipe box plus get a free 80 mil essential oil diffuser when you subscribe using my url www.simplyearth.com slash madam that's www.simplyearth.com slash madam Okay, guys, you already know what it do. We have a new segment that you actually have not been a part of. Oh, um, I like the development. We've yes, honey, it's about the upgrade, honey. Upgrade. So we have a new segment in which we ask our co-hosts some questions to test their knowledge. Hey, and we are gonna call this segment. Are you smart? Do, do, do. Demi, are you smart? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Occasionally, you know, there's some and I, know, I feel like you're just gonna take the piss and ask some questions that that you said if you didn't know. You know what? Nah, I, you know what? It's not a difficult. It, the thing is, yeah, I don't ask you algebraic questions. You're not gonna even me. My mathematics is shit, as you guys already know. Maths beats my ass constantly. These are cultural questions for a cultural show. <laughs> so, how are you ready? I know it's Nigeria. Shut up, <laughs> you're English babe at heart. Ask me the president of Nigeria. What's the president of Nigeria? Bari. See, I wouldn't even know that. No, it's not me. <laughs> see, can you see? You're already disgracing yourself. Okay, guys. So basically, we are going to ask you 10 questions based on all things culture within the UK and United States. And basically, you have to answer them. All right. We are not going to do a timer this time because the timer thing is just not working. All right, then. So if you know, you know. If I don't know, you have three seconds to answer, anyways. You're not going to be sleeping on one question. And I think I'm going to put some music as well, guys. So cue the music. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's begin. In the music video of Dave and Stormzy's song, huh. what was the name of the leading car in the music video? Lamborghini. Very silly. Aston Martin. Same thing. In The Simpsons, what instrument does Lisa Simpson play? Trumpets. Incorrect. Saxophone. Correct. I'll give you that, but Thank you only you. have one. You, it's okay. Usually it's, it's the first time. Bottom one. line is, I got it. I know that she's blowing something. <laughs> what popular al- alcohol brand does Sean Diddy Combe own shares in? Ciroc. Correct. Gang, gang. According to Forbes, who is the highest paid TikTok star? It's Def a White Girl. No, she's green. <laughs> Why do I feel like her name is like Addison Ray? Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Owuo Jr. is the name of which rapper? Um, Hedy One. Incorrect. <laughs> Stormzy. What is the name of Beyonce's older daughter? Ah, Blue Ivy. Correct. Who sang the song Foolish? Ashanti. Correct. <laughs> Complete the lyrics. I just broke up with my ex. Now I'm out here single. Skin out me boom boom. <laughs> I just broke up with my ex. Now I'm out here single. I don't really know what's next. But that is Ariana Grande. Right. Let me love you. Who is the UK mayor? Hey, I be Boris Johnson. You are very stupid. Oh, is, Sadiq Khan. No, you are the room. Right. Sadiq. But what is Beyonce's middle name? 
No. Wait, pause. No. <laughs> <laughs> Beyonce, ah, can't be sassa free as now. Get out! Ah, ah, it's Giselle. Well, uh, that, uh, this is meant to know that one. We know that she got asking my name is Giselle. Everybody knows it's Beyonce Giselle Niles. She said so, everybody is Sasha Fierce. At the end of that round, you have five out of. 10. That's beautiful. Cause That's I, the right. I know that I'm not at the bottom of the leaderboard. You're not at the bottom of the leaderboard. So, guys, we had Maggie, we had Colliday, and now we have you. And so far, you are the leading... Hey! Gang, gang! You are the leading champion at the yes. moment. As Pastor said, I am the head. I never the So, king. guys, we're going to have a leaderboard for you guys to have a look at and listen to. But just to know, Demi is first with five, which shows how stupid everybody is. I want the picture to be this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I will show you a picture. <laughs> if you go and bring any nonsense picture. <laughs> <'Cause>, uh, <laughs> and if you even think about using that one picture. Which one? That weekend picture. Which one? I don't even know. Tell me so I can put it. <laughs> I don't know. It's okay. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. I'll never say the picture of me of my prom. No, I wasn't going to do that one. Thank I wasn't going to see that one. I don't think I even have it. Oh, with that. That's good. I like that. But don't worry, I have. I'm sure I have something worse. Uh 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 uh. I'm sure I've got something worse. Uh uh. We can't. But guys, thank you so much for tuning into that one. It's always fun, and we'll see who is gonna play this game next week. Period. Ow. Hot topics of the week, baby. Okay, guys, we are gonna start hot topics of the week, and to get us warmed up, we've got some new music releases. Oh, very excited! And um, we have Chris Brown back in the game with Ify. Have you heard that one? The one where he's doing that challenge. The uh, popping uh, that. Uh, Do you know what? Yeah, it's a shame that the the cocaine really got to him, because Chris Brown is one of the most talented people of our cocaine. time. Cocaine. You don't know cocaine? Got to Chris Brown? No, to Bobby Ray. <laughs> When was allegedly, it? allegedly. Now I have to say allegedly with yeah, things. Yeah, facts though. But honestly, I do believe that there was a situation with drugs, and he's just been a. He, I don't know, man. Chris Brown. Even I remember there was a there was a picture that came up with him rec- uh, not recently, but maybe like last year. He went to a Drake party, and he was looking like a skin and bone. I don't know what happened. But yeah. honestly, I love seeing him back on a positive note. I love how he is back. Yeah. Um, the dancing, the one of the best dancers of our time. 100%. One of the finest people of our time. Not so much anymore. And uh, we just need to, maybe if they give him, give him meat and chicken <laughs> and some potatoes. I know you would say that because you like your men round. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, I'm only stating facts, so I'm quoting you. Mm. You don't, you don't use my quote to insult me, you dirty bitch. You, you dirty bitch. Ah, my whole Chris Brown offering ch- chicken and I, 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 I put it. I'm just saying that he got. If he want to eat, he can eat. He should eat just small. I'm just trying to help. I'm trying to help. Hey, but no, I honestly love it. I loved how I think he was dancing on like a moving car or something in the music video. Like he was giving it. Do you know what? Yeah, what is your favorite Chris Brown song? Quickly. Oh, so he's many. Jose loyal. Hmm. You know he was. He literally oh. was. I think he was in prison when that song came out. You know, because of the. Was I he? can't remember what he did, but he came out to shoot the video, and then I believe he went number one in prison or something like that. And then oh. he was in jail. I thought it's either that or he was on probation. No, I believe it's is it prison. Anyways, it's something. Shout. It was on something. Mm. Shout out to Chris Breeze. My favorite is um one of his older. My man, you maybe three years older, but you have give me that. No, you think it that you like. I always wish I I wish I could dance. Be in the light. You could be in the back saying give it, give it, give it. That was when little. That was when little Wayne had all his dreads and he. Now, we'll talk about Lil Wayne on another day, yeah. but honestly, he needs to let go of those four dreads that, that you know, the four dreads that, the, the four remaining dreads left in his head. Anyways, shout out to Chris Brown. We welcome you back into the scene. The next hot release is a Diggity Pump 101. Have you heard it? He started off with... Um, <laughs> Two, that, I swear, that's how the, the, the rap started today. Do you know uh, how sick that song he, is? 
You know what? Big up Digga D though. Big up Digga D. What a bad boy. I like him. I really nah. like him. I just wish I didn't know about his um, relationships with women. Oh, God. Because it's just like being a feminist. I, I kind of regard myself as a feminist. I don't like when they're just recycling the babes. Just recycling, recycling. You went from one to another to another. Like, it just, it pains me. Even though it's not, it's, it's paining me small. But I should mind my business, to be fair. To be honest, it's true. Like, all these, he likes the Insta babes. He likes the Insta baddies. Sam. But you know what? Yeah, at least, well, all the girls that he has dated, by what it appears in public, he, he does look, he does look after them. Yeah, well, he does ha! look off. Not sis with the Birkin. The last with the Birkin. Back back. To be honest, yeah, I would rather uh, I want the guy broke up with her, but sis got a Birkin bag. You know what pain me though? The Go. first one got nothing. Second one got Birkin bag, and I know that he's not going to repeat that one with this last with this next one. But I feel like he treated them with the levels that they were on. Do you not deep that? Uh, it's true. You yep. know. Yep. First one, I don't want to say names in it. No, 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 no. But the first one. She like, and if you know what she's about, she likes guys to spend money on her. Da, 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 da. We didn't see not one thing, not a penny, N- not one penny. <laughs> he then went to another one. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's that one. He spent the money because he knows that one is of money class. That one that we even see that she's now chilling with the big boys, private jet, in with, yeah, yeah. with the Nigerian. Yeah, the Niger- was that her? That's her. Hey, that was her. She was gonna make hot topics of the week, but I said, you know what? Yeah, let me leave sis to enjoy herself. Let, let, with leave the Niger- her. It's all right. The big- After you suffered, you want to bumper? You, you want, want to see with the big boys? Sis went to in a little private jet. In a private jet, she stood. When I saw that, I said, I know, bruv. I knew. I said, go and enjoy. enjoy, enjoy yourself. Enjoy, darling. Enjoy yourself. We, we call sign it. Now the other one that's doing low maintenance. Oh no, it's all right. I don't want anything. That's I'm why a, you have nothing. I'm an independent woman. Indi- if you don't go and buy the fucking bag, my I friend. Bet. Listen, I'm an independent woman, but buy the bag. Buy the bag. I'm an independent woman, but buy the bag. I'm an independent woman, but buy the bag. But buy the bag. <laughs> <laughs> you got her one, you have to give me two. What do you mean? What do you mean? Nah. Is this a composition? Yes! yes. <laughs> is this a composition? You need to know who's a big girl. Thank you. Ah, no, <laughs> no, no. But I I literally feel like that's why some t- it's annoying. I feel like you have you have to come at a certain level and if For they want to be with you, it. they will meet you at that level. It's true. It's she true. She set her standard and she we did. saw it happen. And he delivered. He delivered. He delivered. He delivered. Where, where's the delivery of the other two? But generally, music, musically, I love the I love him, yeah. I love the He's so versatile. He needs to stay. He, this is the longest he, he stayed out of prison. Yeah. Which is good. I feel like if he stops doing this red life thing, he will do very, very well. I love yeah. Diggity, but it's like this one likes jail. I pray for him in Jesus' name. We don't hear that again because you know he had the Dubai situation. Uh, he had the Dubai, Dubai situation. Yeah. Um, last year where they nearly grabbed, they nearly pinched his bomb. Okay, but his friend is the one. I don't know what's happening with that one. But this year, in Jesus' name, Digga D, you will not see prison in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of Jesus, they will not catch you in Jesus' name. Amen. You, you will focus on your music. You will not be a naughty boy. Amen. Amen. Somebody start Digga D. I'm praying for him here. Because I, I Honestly, I really want him to do well. And this song Same. shows his versatility. Because it's very different. You you jumped on a G unit, G unit track. Are you bodied I was, it? I was... Mm. What? Mm, mm, what a on. bad boy. Digga lo- what? Digga that's fuck right. come on. D. That's Digga my D. babe. Yeah. Digga, you're my babe. I like you. Don't emphasize it too much, you. You only like light skin guests. Don't worry. There's always a chocolate for everybody. Oh, what, what, what? what, what There's what, always what, a chocolate. What, 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 that's what, what they what, say. What, what, maybe maybe the chocolate is not tantalizing, but I will I will give you a chocolate that you that you like to taste. Come on, you know. Maybe <laughs> have some pineapple juice. Okay, okay. we're gonna hit in, we're gonna speak on the next uh release. This one is a lick by uh Shanish Shanisa. Hey, how do you say this is his name? Shansia. Shansia featuring Make the Stallion, Period. which came out today. Today's Friday, if you guys don't know. We are filming on a Friday. What did you think of the song? What did I think of the song? Talk to me. Listen, first of all, Shansia, that's my girl. <laughs> I love her. You like all this bumbo clap Jamaican I, music? You know me. I, I'm, I'm Jamaican at heart. To be honest, me too. Me, me a Jamaican, we're from Kingston. You don't know me. Everybody's I'm from Kingston. We're from Kingston. I'm from St. Anne's. If you like, we're from St. Uh, Bumbo Pussyra. <laughs> Let me behave my Nigerian self. Let me behave. No, but seriously, I love. Sh- I really, really love Shansia. Have you had her freestyles? I don't. I I don't really know her music babe, too tough. Babe, babe, Shansia. That one is 
No fight no girl over no man me not eat yeah. If me I take a man me I keep that You don't know Sorry I don't listen you've to my heard, music you, <laughs> You've heard her songs You've heard her songs But either way Love her Love Meg the Stallion Can't lie Meg span her On her own song The song was trash Okay you just pause right there Meg span her Her voice I mean her voice Her verse It was on a mad thing. Her mm-hmm. verse was a mad thing. I just don't like the fact that it's given very much WAP 2.0. And to be fair though, even though I don't think it's a fair comparison because mm-hmm. Jamaican music is really and truly, it surrounds WAP. It surrounds the vulgar, the, do you know what I mean? The sex, that's, that's what a lot of Jamaican music is or mainstream Jamaican music is. Mm-hmm. But I just feel like somebody that is as versatile as Shansia, she can rap, she can sing. Her freestyles are on a mad thing. So why- This w- is what you're giving us when you're with Meg the Stallion. Yeah. So she's, so originally she's a rapper. She can spit bar for bar. Cause bar for bar. I'm not sure what this was. I really don't know. I don't know what this was. The, 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 the whole production, first of all, I have no idea what backing that was. Whoever made the backing, that should have been scrapped and put in the dustbin because the, the lyrics, the um, the sounding, the beats, you didn't dead. Like the, beat. the beat was dead. It was murder on the beat, so it was not nice. And he did murder the beat <laughs> indeed. R.I.P. to that beat. R.I.P. to R.I.P. <laughs> to that beat because it was very dead. No. It was. On top of that, the lyrics, again, like I have, I love, I'm a woman. Mm-hmm. I am for women. Mm. I love the sexual liberation of women. I love how we can now freely talk about things. But we don't need to be... I feel like sometimes it's so overt. It's like, what's going on? I saw the music video. Sis literally has her legs parted, spread spread out. I know her pussy was actually on show properly and they put one shit 3d animation of what we would call a lollipop or a, i don't know was it a lollipop was it a flower i don't know regardless the song was trash the video was trash meg the stallion bodied her verse and i'm not just saying that because i'm a mega the stallion fan because she she too has her own hiccups but it was her verse was amazing but all in all i didn't understand it it's like these days let's stop being lazy for a minute these days if we're if we're not talking about oh i'm lick a pussy yeah lick a pussy like bruv that come on where is the lyrics you, but she, you where know what if we're gonna call a spade a spade mm-hmm. on an actual level that's what everybody is listening to nah, not, we need but yeah fair enough fair enough that is what what Make it where's that where's that ass pussy was sung outside the president's house <laughs> outside the president's I'm house. Not saying those lyrics, I'm not saying those lyrics don't need to be they need to be cancelled or I don't enjoy I enjoy it but this is lazy lyric writing like sis said lick like first of all I need to say this guys Go stop on. using my Lord Jesus Christ to to promote your horny lyrics what is I'm Part my legs like the Red Sea. Leave that motherfucking Bible verse alone. <laughs> Leave that motherfucking Bible story alone. Stop using my Lord Jesus Christ. Stop ah! using stop using the Bible to promote your filth. What do you mean legs parted like the Red Sea? Is God happy with you when you sing that song? <laughs> <laughs> Is God happy with you when you sing that song? <laughs> Listen, you know, brother. Nah, okay, it's much. It it, it was. Given, it's too much. It was given much, but I think maybe after a whole season of just songs being very much sex, 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 sex. You don't want to go use the same Meg that was also on WAP, but that was doing up sex, sex. She's. It wasn't WAP level lyrically. It wasn't. No, my it thing wasn't. is lyrically. My thing is beat. There's a way where you can talk about these things. You could talk about whatever the fuck you want. If you want to talk about sex and it's gonna be that raunchy, you have to come. Hard. You have to come hard. You have to come so hard to the point where people are like, okay, yes, much, but that was, Do you know what? Was she, just like Meg, like that, and that's what Meg does. Meg can talk and have those have those topics of conversation, but you can't tell me that she can't spit. If I heard that for the first time, you're saying that she's a lyrically amazing. She's amazing. This is probably one of the first times I've heard her, and I'm thinking, what the fuck is this? This girl can't spit. That's my issue. Yeah. That is the issue. The li- lyrically is poor. It's poor. Productionally, it's, it's poor. poor. 
more. Like, guys, let's do better. Just because you, it, it's like, that's what I'm saying. It's lazy. People think that if you're half naked on a video and you're talking about pussy, pussy, my pussy is wet, you're patting like the Red Sea, it's going to sell. But that's not the case. You still have to be lyrically strong. Strong, yeah. Oh, I hate this for her. Because I know you like her. I, I really, like her. I really, really do. And I'm telling you, if you heard her freestyles, she has dropped about three free freestyles and all of them have gone viral and i'm talking viral on the basis that she's just cold this woman can literally sit there and she'll be going da -da -da -da, and her flow is on a mad thing so to hear this me myself i was disappointed i listened to it once usually if i like a song and i've heard it for the first time I'm like, i have to go back and watch it again to see if i've missed anything mm -hmm. i played it three I played times it yeah and even what was that there was a there was her chorus was a song that i've heard before I'm even trying to get the lyrics up, but I think because it's just come out, they don't have lyrics yet or, or anything. What? Um, uh, um, I don't know why I can't remember, but her... I know I'm going to kick myself later when I then think... The lyrics, the her chorus is something that I've heard before and I just thought, this is poor, man. They just need to stop talking about my Lord my Lord God and talking about <laughs> patting the rest, using Bible story to, to promote your, your horny lyrics. Oh, no. I don't, I don't co-sign that. I don't co-sign that. Not, not our Lord Jesus. Not, uh, not, the Lord, not the Lord Jesus Christ and the story of Noah in the Red Sea to promote your, yeah. your promiscuous music. If you don't get out. Maybe the Red Sea was trying to like... It's it. okay. Right. It's C&T, baby. Okay, right, guys, we're going to move on to the hot topics of this week. And I'm really excited about this week. Obviously, another chaotic week. And it's always chaos. It's every always, week. And do you know what? I love a bit of chaos because this one in particular was like, oh my God. So Michael Todd spat into his hand twice, and the audience gasped when he rubbed his hand on his brother's face. Guardian has written here, a pastor from a mega church in Tulsa faced a wave of criticism online over a video of him rubbing spit on a worshiper's face. During the sermon on Sunday, Michael Todd at Transformation Church spat into his hand twice. Receiving vision from God might get nasty, he said, before turning to the man on stage. The incident came about 40 minutes into a two-hour service when Todd discussed Mark 8.22, a Bible passage in which Jesus restores a blind man's sight in the village of Bethsaida by rubbing spit into his eyes. Did you watch the video? I'm not going to lie. As soon as I saw the... I came on. Do you know what I mean, too? I, I, get, I get... I have this thing where if I watch something and I it will make me cringe i it won't leave my mind so i i will literally skip my only thing that i had an issue with because i saw the outrage i read all the articles for me i don't like when someone tries to make church and god gimmicky yes because when you're doing all of that it's it's there are a lot of there are already a lot of non-believers mm -hmm. do you know what i mean and it's fair enough it's not for for us to come and be trying to change everyone's mind but i also feel like as christians you kind of do have a, a duty to try and introduce people to god yeah if your if your pastor is spitting doing what <laughs> and rubbing it on your face ain't no and i tell you uh uh, uh fred why don't you come to my church like what so what a pastor can spit in my face you really flopped it. Like, what? Oh, and you're a man. pastor. So it's even like, what was you thinking? And it's sad because now it's it's going to give off that vibe like, oh, like he's fraudulent. Oh, he's these got, Christians. He's these a Christian, fake pastor. Yeah. Da, 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 da. And it's like, he, he's, he, from what I've seen of him, especially online, there's bear quotes I've, I've taken from him that and I've saved. Do you know what I mean? Because it's, he's a wise man, but mm -hmm. that wasn't wise. It wasn't wise. It, it wasn't, wasn't wise. wise. On that day, he didn't pray for wisdom and didn't understand it. He needed, to, he needed to fast for it because I feel like that maybe it's the spirit of stupidity entered his soul bro uh, that was absolutely trash it was right sorry there was no there, 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 there's nothing else to there's nothing to prove a, like i get you're trying to prove a point and but it was just it, it was just bad it was bad it was bad and i get what you're saying by this type of this type of stuff gives a bad light to the church to yeah. the church like i remember i don't know if you if i sent it to you our pastor was talking about this and he just said straight blank it's really bad theology like it's it's, mm. it's very very poor the point he was trying to make and the action that he was trying to do was just shit. It, i'm sorry i'm sorry and i can understand why people were back were being crazy about it but what i do want to say especially in covid Near yes. COVID, yeah, you're yeah, 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 yeah. You're spitting in a in a global pandemic. Me, that even, even I had sorry, an argument sorry. with the, with the Uber driver. He, you know, this guy didn't open the door for me to enter the in the cab until I put on my mask. No way. I swear, I was there in the cold. I just came from the nail shop, and I'm there trying to open the door. My man wouldn't let me in, and you. 
on the live stage. Yeah. Wow. I don't know. What, no. what, what, what was the guy? What was the brother thinking? Him too stupidly as well. Standing that stood there, there thinking, oh, my pastor. Demi, if you, you ever if, if you ever decided to, if God gave you one stupid divine intervention to spit in my face, I'm sorry. I'm going to, I will whack you, bruv. And I hope the same. I'm sorry. I will whack you, bruv. Are you what? Spit in my face. Do you know spitting? Nah. Do you know spitting <laughs> in someone's face is the highest order of disrespect. of disrespect? I can, I could actually do damage to somebody for that. Be, I would have. She, he should have just punched, punched someone in the face. You know when it's, it's like that saying when they say, "I wouldn't even spit on you if you was on fire." You know that saying. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Me, me, for me to spit at you, yeah. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, spit. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Like even like there's some people I want to spit at. I will never spit. I could. I don't think I could ever spit at someone. No, that is. I don't even like it. You see people that spit right on the floor. Guys. You know what? You see people that spit on the floor. It's animals, nasty. dirty animals. The lot of you that you go that will be spitting on the floor, spitting on the floor. So disgusting. So disgusting. I was one of. And them. the thing is, I'm the one. I'm the one that when you spit on the floor, I will as you walk up, I'll be like, Ugh, that's butter. I'll, yeah. So that you know that you are dead to pig. <laughs> what is that? You'll be sp- <laughs> I said that's so foul, bro. You like that's so, that is li- honestly like that is one of the worst things you could do next to me. Spitting on the floor, <laughs> let alone spit in my face, brother. Yeah, we'd have to scrap. At least I want to. On that, put your hands up. On that pulpit, I will fight you, fam. In the mi- in front you know of the church. Is? You know what it is, or I will do it in a classy way. In a. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. I'll do it in a classy way. You see, as you two, you've got... And you've wiped my face. I said, Pastor, wait. <laughs> Hold on. Pastor, Hold on. You two, <laughs> bra. Yes. And if you ask me what my dress is, God too gave me vision. I must wipe you back. What do you mean? <laughs> this is not a one-sided... The spirit is, the spirit moving, is moving, moving in both ways. <laughs> He's led, he led you to do it. He As he led you, you. he also led the me. spirits came to me. <laughs> As that spirit touched me, he came to me and I had to wipe it back. I'd have to scrap. I'd have to, I'm not going to lie, I'd have to scrap. 100%. Yeah, so my thing's I would go, my, not that, not that I, I curse I'm fighting, but you know when you say you, your eyes will go red? Yeah, it's so my thing. I w- my eyes will go red. I would, I would do war. One thing I do want to say though, and there's a lot of people, you know, obviously because he did come up with an apology and he did apologise and say that, you know, my bad. Um, I made an error. I couldn't even watch the apology if I'm being honest. I watched the apology. I couldn't watch it because stuff like that makes me cringe. Why did you do it in the first place? But that's what I'm saying and this is the thing. A lot of people and this is this is the very dangerous thing about titles because respectfully um, he's a pastor but sometimes people forget behind the title there's a human being and human beings should be able to be allowed to make fault and error. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree in my that. honest opinion. But this is the thing. We put these people in big hierarchies in our lives, forgetting that they are not divine people. Yeah, they're human. They're human beings. Yes, they might have a calling for this and that and that and this, but they are human beings with needs and desires, which is why I was even talking to my sister about this recently because a lot of women, for example, have been sexually assaulted or abused by pastors mm-hmm. or by leaders of their church or manipulated by leaders of their church. And the first thing people do is be angry at God mm-hmm. or question Christianity as a whole. But it's the human it's being, the human being yeah. and not the title that needs to be held responsible. Just because somebody is a pastor does not mean that they're blameless. Mm. Just because somebody is quote unquote a man of God because bruv, is is, is one of my boot things, is it not, apparently in America, right? You can literally do a fucking course to become a pastor. To become a, 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 what's it called? It's not a pastor, it's like um evangelist it's a pastor those ones that when you go to marriage uh, oh those yeah 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 yeah. even Cardi B's one Cardi B's um, those officiating officiary yeah so you can actually do a course to become a pastor to be somebody went to course to marry people and that's the people (laughs) and then you got to say that you're a man of God you're married before God that's why the relationship will work yeah trust me because you're a pastor your pastor is somebody that <laughs> just came from the strip club. He came from. He was looking for a quick buck. 
You gave me your yeah. certificate. That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> it's not about. There are some people who are not quote unquote titled as the man of God pastor, but they are incredible human beings. Mm. But they might not get the same respect because they don't carry the title. Mm. Vice versa. These men of God, because they have the title, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. People respect them, get disappointed, and then they blame God. Or they blame the church as a whole, or they pray Christianity. Mm. You can't... Do you know where it is? Go on. I think, not to say that, because I've forgiven him all. I will still listen to his quotes, because I do think he's an intelligent man. I just think he just made a mistake. But I think what the issue is, he is like the pastor of a mega church. A mega church, yeah. That church is not a small church. No. So... I get, it was gimmicky. The thing is, and that's that that is I think that's Mike Todd's thing. You know, Mike Todd wants I think he tries to bring n- people who don't know Christ into Christ in a fun way. And I can appreciate that. Let's remember how many things that he's done for the church before we remember how many times he's messed up. True, very true. Because he has made church for a lot of people cool. He's made church for a lot of people less rules and regulations and more relationship and mm. more... Lo- so, yes, he fucked up. I do not co and Don't go and fucking spit in someone's face. That's a mad thing. But let's not forget how much he's contributed to the church. That's true. That's, That's what true. I'm saying. Yes, and again, let's not forget that behind Pastor Todd... Pastor, uh, Pastor Mike Todd is Mike Todd before he's a pastor. That's extremely true extremely he's he's just a regular human being mm-hmm. that's been ordained to be a pastor but it doesn't change the fact that he's me or you or you or me yes there's nothing else that different yes honest and that's and that's and that's my thing and that's all that's on thing but guys honestly i really hope this situation doesn't change your mind about about church about because church god is good man god I, is good i feel like he's actually working in our lives like and Nah, God is good, so don't, please don't let that one change your mind. Okay, guys, we're going to move on to the next topic. Um, a YouTuber has deleted her account after she accidentally posted an unedited edited video of her coaching her son to cry on camera. Jordan Cheyenne, a Californian-based blogger, had recorded a reaction video of herself and her son after finding out that their dog had been diagnosed with a potentially... I said potentially, potentially dead, deadly illness. However, in the clip, the YouTuber who often vlogs about parenting lifestyle fi- fitness is seen forcing her distressed child to cry in a certain way for the camera. Did you see this video? Again, I watched the first 10 seconds. It made me cringe. I came off. I watched the whole thing. I, I actually watched the whole video and it was actually really, really disturbing. Really, really disturbing. And I feel like... First of all, good that you deleted your account. Go and think about yourself. Sometimes I feel like people need time to process. Go and think about your life and the stupidity, the, the stupidity that you just done. Why does she keep it in there? She accident. She must have left it in by accident. She left it. Obviously, you know when you're editing, editing, editing. Mm-hmm. Maybe the child was screaming somebody else. She had to do something. She mm-hmm. just edited and just post and go. But by then it was too late. It was too late. It already went viral. But it's crazy. And this is the scary thing. Mm-hmm. social media perception i remember do you do you, have you been on twitter recently where people have been deep in that like sometimes when you see couples couples will be like sitting in their house cuddling but the camera's on and it's like somebody said youtubers have it really hard because it's like you have to post all these weird intimate moments of you like hugging on your boyfriend and kissing for views and make it look natural but then you've just put a camera on yeah and then started acting as though everything is perfect meanwhile you've just finished slapping each other you dirty bitch you doggy honestly even being a youtuber we know we know it's cap- cap- we, cap- 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 a, 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 a lot of it is a lot of it is cap like you see even vlogging <laughs> no seriously even when okay i remember I, I tried to do a vlog for the whole week yeah mm-hmm. Even things like having your camera up in the gym, recording, da 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 da. Like, it is very awkward. So, when you're, it's a thing where you're doing a couple goals and this, that, and the rest, and these are the things that people want to see, mm-hmm. a lot of things you're not going to do it right the first time. Life isn't as romantic. It's like, okay, cool. Like, the first time you was going to have sex, or even when you have sex, sex isn't, it isn't like, what we what we read about back then mm-hmm. do you know what i mean sex is is it's even kind of 
It's very dirty. It's, it's messy. It's messy, it's messy. It is messy, do you know what I mean? Like, what you see in the movies, it's not that. Mm-hmm. So it's the same thing on YouTube. What you see on YouTube is not that. There's behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, all right, baby, you need to sit over here, da 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 And then you will turn the camera on and make it look cute. All right, then you stop. You go back to be angry at each other. It's, <laughs> it's, it is what it is. Uh-huh. I'm telling you, but I just feel like... Yeah, that one. I don't know, man. It's difficult because you want you want people to have fun. You want people to enjoy your content, but more time your content is just chilling. Cap. You spend most of the time chilling. Like if I was to do a week, I'd have to have a packed week because it's really not my week. Facts, because you, you want to tell me that your your week is so jam packed every single every hour single hour of, of, the, of day. the day. Like I'm so back to busy. Like no, you're not, bitch. Don't lie. Be honest. Like, even when I see those people that do morning routines, da 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 da. Oh my god, why are they fucking capping? Why are they capping? I want to do a morning routine. But them too, did they do the routine? You told me you first of all you woke up at 5 a.m. You spent fi- you, you spent 15 minutes writing your fucking journal. You spent the next fif- uh, 20 minutes doing yoga practice because you want to do feng shui. Then you spend the next 30 minutes, you now want to go and get coffee. In that day, you had the energy to go and, to go and make pancake, bacon, eggs, sausage roll. You have a big fucking breakfast. And then and then on top of that, you now have time to listen to your medica- meditation music for 10 minutes. All in the, all in the in the in the in the in the space of an hour. Then, they now, dro- then with that heavy breakfast, they drove to the gym. They now drove to the gym with their heavy breakfast. Bro. <laughs> but the funny <laughs> thing about it is, as much as that is, like, cool. Some it's people, cap, some man. people's cap. Some people that's genuinely the day. No, that is, that's cap. That is that's genuinely cap. the day. You rolled out of bed like the rest of us. In fact, you didn't roll because the alarm came up. They came on one time, and you said. Hello, uh, iPhone, I'm not ready. You know the one that makes me laugh? Because I've done it before, yeah? Uh-huh. And I realised, like, I felt so silly doing it, but it, it, it looks really good on camera. You know the ones where you you actually wake up, like your normal day, cool, you'll sit on your phone, da 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 Now, you're going to walk to your camera, turn it on, jump back into bed, pretend to sleep, and then wake up. And <laughs> 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 you know what kills me about that? They probably, before they turn on the camera, they probably woke up, brushed their teeth, comb their hair, make sure, and then they're waking put, up put looking me, like... Me, put up just a cheeky bit of concealer under cheeky the eye. <laughs> a cheeky bit of concealer. A little bit of tinted moisturizer just to bring up just the, to bring out the, the skin. Feature. And then you now do A bit of lip balm because so the lip is the not lip too not dry. dry. You now do... Oh, guys, I just the woke hair, up. The hair is looking kind of all right. Continue, you just woke up. The hair is looking... What do you mean all right? The hair is looking laid. laid. <laughs> the hair is looking laid. Like you slept like this. Listen, the, <laughs> the day that my 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 this thing comes out, I'm letting you know. I woke up first, rearranged myself, and then go back to bed, <laughs> and then woke up, <laughs> and then woke up for you lot. Because I'm gonna wake up with it. that. Would have meant I had to sleep with the camera on. Hundred percent. To get a genuine reaction of me waking up, I would have to sleep with the camera on. Nobody has camera memory no, like that. Storage for that. You know what? When I wake up, you see me. You see me when I first wake up. My face swells up, bro. <laughs> my eyes get are so swollen. <laughs> my whole my lip, my whole face is so. And the thing is, I wake up confused. <laughs> I wake up like shit. Another day. God damn. I'm here again. <laughs> Fuck. It's another day. I gotta do this again. Damn. Yeah, man, it's not easy, it's not easy. Honestly, my sister always cuts me because I actually always wake up very confused as to what I'm here, why I'm here. Not to say I'm, I want to die or anything, but I'm just like, God. You wake up, you're like, hold on, where am I? And you're like, oh, okay. oh, oh, shit, I'm in my house. I have to do this day again. Listen. That was me, Nanta. On, honestly, honestly, working a nine to five job, I used to hate waking up. I used to wake up and be like, F-. especially when you had the early start. I remember I used to start work at 7.30 in the am. So I'd have to wake up at five. Fam. And I used to be like, fam. I remember when I had work, um, morning shifts at McDonald's. Imagine, I had to be at work at 5 a.m. Five in the am. Five. So you'd have to work, wake up at three. No. Mm? You know, even if I started work at 5 a.m., I would wake up maybe 4.30. I would roll out of bed. <laughs> roll out of bed mm-hmm. like i'm the sort of person where i leave 10 minutes to get ready and then the rest is journey time i swear I, back then i could do everything in 10 minutes because there's no putting on makeup there's no nothing i would go to work looking so scruffy and i would just look so dead on shift like literally just literally like sleep walking around then i'll do what i have to do by i think by two i would then be able to go home and even going home at that time used to piss me off. 
because you go back home to housework. You said I do housework. But I think when I'm looking at, I'm just looking at what Indian Express have. When I think, I think the issue is, is because there was a child involved, like the fact that you have your child. And the thing is, bearing in mind, if, you're, if your dog is actually sick, emotionally, a child is already quite distressed. So you're forcing your child to be distressed of, over a situation that he already is uh, distressed about. Do you, do you know, I can't even talk because if I say something, I'll be cancelled. Is that you? I even I don't agree with it because there's a child involved, but sis needed a thumbnail, innit? Sis, need- <laughs> sis, 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 sis needed a thumbnail. She got to do what she got to do. And you know the worst thing about it is, I'd, honestly, do you know, till today I forget that I need to do a thumbnail, you know? So sometimes I will end up having to go back into into my YouTube video and then screenshots, mm-hmm. literally screenshot, so that can be the thumbnail. Because if you don't have a good thumbnail, people aren't gonna watch it. My thumbnail is so that even someone She's commented just... on my comments about my thumbnail, and to be honest, my response to that is suck your mum. <laughs> but <laughs> the the irony is, you genuinely, if you don't have a good thumbnail, people aren't uh, watching. My thumbnails at times can take me a good thirty minutes to edit just the thumbnail That's like crazy. social media is it's everything is a job even the things that look so small are not it's it's not like you actually that's why her saying okay cool just cry turn your head over here like yes it's wrong but when she flopped genuinely she flopped herself by keeping that thing in yeah she fumbled. because she let fumbled. me tell you something everyone that's cussing her every youtuber if you go and look all the ones that are crying they sat there and they put tear in their eye and start crying again that they will, they'll put bogey, they will make sure the cry is the real. The cry looks real. Bruv, for facts. That's how you know some people's thumbnails look so forced. Even the reaction on their face. You know, they want to be like, okay, everyone looks surprised. One, two, three. <gasps> I'm finished. I'm finished. It's a real thing. It's a real thing. Anyways, good luck to her. She's deleted it. So maybe she can get a nice little nursing job, a nine to five no, job. No, she'll jump back on um, YouTube. She just needs the thing to die down. Yeah, sure is. It's really popping at the moment. But guys, that was Hot Topics of the Week. Hope you enjoyed. And of course, if you want to get involved with Hot Topics of the Week or anything that we have going on here in CNT, make sure you follow us on Cocktails and Takeaways on Instagram, CNT Podcast on Twitter. Follow us on TikTok as well, Madam Joyce. And subscribe to our channel because we have a good time. Question of the week. We're going to move on to question of the week. The bad boys and the bad girls answered a poll on Instagram and on YouTube and gave us all their insights and opinions. Are you ready? On. Question of the week. So what is it? Okay, guys, let's get cracking. Question of the week. Your friend has a big crush on a guy or a girl. Okay. The guy or girl has yet to show your friend show your friend interest. Mm-hmm. One day, this guy slash girl tells you that they like you hmm. and they want to get to know you more. Is it okay to date them? What's your opinion? You first. <laughs> you first, bitch. Me first. <laughs> okay, honestly speaking, if you yourself, you know within your chest, <laughs> within your whole heart, yeah, that. This, like, your, you know, some friends... Scenario, put us. Demi, I fancy... Who 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 do I fancy? I fancy Dan so bad. Okay. Uncle Dan. Okay. Uncle Dan is... I love him so much. All right. I love Uncle Dan. Okay, and you're always talking Uncle, about it. Oh, uh, I'm like, you know what? I really fancy Uncle Dan. Oh, my God, Uncle Dan. Amazing, Uncle okay. Dan. Uncle Dan one day says, Demi... You know what? I think you're beautiful. I want to get to know you more. I like you. What are you saying? If I have an attraction to Uncle Dan, it's now for me to then find a way to tell you. But I like him. It's now for me to find a way to tell you, yo, babe. Because imagine you then have a conversation with, I have a conversation with Uncle Dan. Uncle Dan is like, She's never really been my type. I'm not really looking. Do you know what I mean? I'm not looking over there. Like, it's, it's not that thing. If it was going to happen, it would have been happened. Mm-hmm. But he's fancying me. I'm even looking at him thinking, ah, Uncle Dan, you're fine, no. Then that may be a conversation. Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? I know mm-hmm. it seems sad, but I mean, 
that's like some people you know there's some friends that are so delusional that you're liking this guy and you know this guy is don't send you he's the del- bro that's anyways so like on a, you know what i mean that's, i feel that the that's delusion i feel the, the delusion, delusion thing. and now because you're stuck in this fantasy and this delusion i must now miss my blessing <laughs> miss your destiny <laughs> miss my destiny because you have this un unhinged imagination <laughs> <laughs> that you're gonna end up with this person who was never checking for you and never will. Where do we go from here? Where do we go? Do you know what I mean? Sorry, that's just my thing. I know I know back then the political correct answer is no, you shouldn't like him because your friend likes him. So But if not like your friend <laughs> If not like that man is not your own. That man where you're like is not your own. <laughs> Okay, yeah. I'm gonna share what the bad boys or bad girls said on Go Instagram. Seventy one percent said no, it is not okay to date them. Right. And twenty nine percent said yes, it is okay to date them. You're right. I'm gonna be very honest. Go on. If the if the role roles reverse and Uncle Dan, you fancied Uncle Dan. Yeah. Uncle Dan showed no interest to you. Uh-huh. And Uncle Dan said, Joyce, mm-hmm. I like you. On my life, I'm going there. <laughs> On the blood clots. Fam. On the bamba clot blood fire. <laughs> and you know what? I think it also depends on the friend. If that friend. That's why I said me and you. Like, if it was a loose, loose friend, a kidney. Co- if you don't go, come on, come on. Yeah. If but if the friendship is that strong that you know what, you you yourself, you don't even like, yeah, he likes you, but you don't even like him like that and it's not worth losing your friendship. Yeah. Then cool. That's the thing. If you now said to me, Joyce, this this is going to hurt me if you date this guy. I will have to, we'll have to have a, a, a discussion about a it. But conversation. My, I, w- I would never sacrifice my friend for a man. Yeah. It doesn't, because there's plenty of fish in the sea. Like Facts. Sadly, it's not going to be this one. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm just going to have to let them know. Yeah. But I feel like it's very delusional and it's very, it is very unfair. It's a very unfair scenario, which is why obviously it's question of the week mm-hmm. because it's either, it's, there's, I don't feel there's anything wrong with dating them. You've not done anything wrong because the guy doesn't show interest, but it's the fact of you hurting your friend mm-hmm. that is the issue. Mm-hmm. The dating situation is not the issue because I'm sorry, sis, don't be crazy. Man don't like you. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. But, if it means hurting your friend, that's when I'm like, okay, cool. I wouldn't, I would never hurt my. Even if it's a crazy, even if the girl is being crazy, she's being delusional, or the boy is being crazy, he's being delusional. It's still gonna hurt them regardless. So you just have to accept it and keep and keep it stepping. Big facts, though. Big facts. I don't know. I think I also feel like it's different too. If the guy maybe has maybe flirted with your friend, because in the in the past but now, what, what what would you define as flirting? Because some pe- some guys here, yeah, they don't want to imagine. Imagine now, someone can just be the the guy might be friendly to your friend, like oh yeah, you cool. Because obviously, bearing in mind he likes you in it. Mm. so he could just be friendly to to Bonquisha like oh yeah you know how are you babe and then the girl because he said hi oh my god it's flirting with me yeah. like bruv like what flirting oh yeah you cool how's your mom how's your dad genuine niceness someone that's confused for flirting they've now gone to say our destiny is marriage yeah and now no one else can go there because you like him because yeah yeah and it's yeah, a one sided yeah. like it's a one sided like bro yeah. it's, it's a tr- it's, it's a sticky one still but it's I'm- a sticky one if like I said if you don't want that friendship to end, just brush it in it. It's all right, he can like you and you know it and it is what it is. But if it's a that thing where you've actually liked this guy but you're because your friend was the first one to scream it and shout it out loud. It's a sticky one, isn't it? It's a sticky, it's a one. sticky, sticky one. It's a sticky, it's a sticky, sticky situation because you dating him, I don't feel it's wrong. It's not wrong. Technically, he's not it's not like he's your friend's ex or mm. they were linking. It was just a crush that didn't bang. Yeah. So now the crush likes you, but it's gonna make your friend feel some type of way. But you dating them is not but I would never wanna hurt my friend. It's a sticky one. It's a sticky one. But let it's me share what the bad style. boys and bad girls said. Bintu Drama said, that's man stealing. Even though it's not her man, you can't take that karma too. It's not really man stealing because it wasn't never her man. Her man. And you said it yourself. How can I steal something that didn't belong that to didn't you? That didn't belong to you, facts. That doesn't make any sense. But you know what? If that's what you mean, if that's what you say, I can, I can, I can say, okay. King B said, if my girl said she likes someone, I'm not going there. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, Queen Ma said, not without a conversation first with your friend to make sure they're comfortable with it. 
definitely don't you have if, to have if, a conversation you have to have a conversation 100%. you can't you, what is snaky is yeah, if you say <laughs> yeah don't be a debtor bitch that's yeah, snaky that's snaky you have that's why I, that was one of the first things i said you have to have that conversation you yeah. don't have the conversation that's the end of the friendship absolutely and uh chakasha said my friend has an interest in them and has already said that that's not fair to my friend at all i get that and honestly the fact that the friend has made it publicly known that they like but it's not your fault that the guy likes you that's a, it's a sticky one it's a sticky one it's a sticky one um danis you said girl code before anything that's your best friend you stay clear i agree to that girl, girl code is important in this situation smithy graham said gotta let the friend know he came to you sis Period. all parties cannot be blind <laughs> <laughs> don't be an idiot um, and pastor underscore ly said it depends on how strong your friendship feel how strongly your friends feel they should know how their crush feels too but that's what i'm saying there's some delusional girls the bro. guy showed you no interest brother but because you you've said you like him everyone else has to close the, their the, eyes the, the, her liking the guy is enough for the i love me enough for the both of us <laughs> She loves him enough for the both Stop of them. It. Brother! Brother! No, for real though. For real though. I'm too finished. And I'm just going to read one more. I'm going to read one more. Rhino says someone's got to get with them and it clearly ain't your friend. So <laughs> I'm going to do what I finna do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's she tight. Said, do you know what? Literally one of my favorite questions this week. You guys tell me what you think in the comments. What would you do? Yeah. For real. Because it's a tricky one, isn't it? It is. It is. It actually is. Actually but guys, is. thank you for question of the week. Of course, make sure you DM us more questions of the week on cocktails and takeaways. And guys, unfortunately, this was supposed to be a dilemmas episode, but we're not doing dilemmas because your motherfuckers never sent that in. Oh no. I didn't really get that many dilemmas. So clearly all of you lot are having a very good time. Clearly life is great for everybody. They don't need to, they don't need us to answer. But guys, if you ever want to get involved in dilemmas with Miss Dems on cocktails and takeaways. Cause you know I only ever do dilemmas with them, right? You know, that's my that's my good sis. Make sure you email us at cocktails at takeaways at gmail.com. DM us with the heading. I mean email us with the heading dilemmas or you can even dm us on instagram cocktails and takeaways but if you want dilemmas you have to put them in you dig you have to send them in so make sure you send them per and with that being said that is the end of a fantastic episode for real uh, 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 we finished uh, uh, uh. we finished where do they find you on social motherfucking media um you find me at miss dems guys i have the same name on everything miss dems one on youtube no actually it's miss dems on youtube miss dems one on snapchat miss dems miss dems one on youtube on and Instagram and Miss Dems One on Twitter. So everything, oh, even TikTok, Miss Dems One, everything Miss Dems One. And we'll one. also be putting it in the in the description box, so make sure you check her out. But guys, that has been another fantastic episode. Thank you so much for coming, Miss oh, Dems. You are amazing. Me. I love you so much. And I love you guys as well, man. So make sure you stay tuned for next week where we have another guys i'm not gonna lie my guest next week is fucking fantastic get ready that's all i have to say valentine's is coming so you know i have to come with i have to come with someone also special that's all i'm gonna say for this week but guys i'm gonna see you next week goodbye